Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see sterilization control for dry heat sterilization. Let's see what are sterilization controls. Sterilization controls are bio indicators or chemical indicators used to supervise sterilization. Sterilization controls provides assurance in the efficacy of the sterilization process. At first we are going to say about bio indicators. We all know that bio means life and here we are using highly resistant microorganism spores as an indicator. The spores of a non-toxigenic strain of Clostridium tetany are used as a microbiological test of dry heat efficiency. Paper strips impregnated with 10 to the power of 6 spores are placed in envelopes and inserted into suitable packs. After sterilization is over, the strips are removed and inoculated into thioglycolate or cooked meat media and incubated for sterility test under strict anaerobic conditions for 5 days at 37 degrees Celsius to determine whether any spores survived the process. If no spores survive, none grow and the test is a pass. If growth is detected, the test is a fail. Biological indicators are the most accepted means of monitoring sterilization because they assess the sterilization process directly by killing known highly resistant microorganisms. Next we are going to see about chemical indicator that is chemicals are used as an indicator. Brown's tube Brown's tube was invented by Albert Brown. Brown's tube is a small glass tube containing a red heat sensitive dye used as a chemical indicator for sterilization. After proper sterilization, a green color is produced that is after 60 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius or 115 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. It is convenient for routine use. Because the spore test results are usually not obtained immediately, chemical monitoring should also be done. Chemical indicators should be used for every sterilizer load and also should be used inside every package to verify that the sterilizing agent has penetrated the package and reached the instruments inside. Chemical indicators do not guarantee sterilization, but they help us to detect procedural errors like overloaded sterilizer, incorrect packaging, etc. and equipment malfunctions. Finally, we are going to say about dermocouples. The prefix dermo means relating to heat or temperature. As temperature is one of the important factors for sterilization, dermocouples are used to monitor temperature. I am concluding my video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.